Welcome to this short video on how to power your social data awareness with BusinessWorks. In this short video, which will last about five minutes, I will use the BusinessWorks Twitter plugin to extract information and use it and try to find insights in the data that I will have extracted in uh, the Spotify Analytics dashboard. So let's get started. Integration is a set of technology that allows you to access uh, information that you can then use to streamline your processes to increase your awareness but increasingly this information is also used to feed decision systems. You want to feed uh, the, your uh, analytic system so you can identify patterns to, to which you may want to react to very quickly. And in that context, social networks are a great pool of information. It's not a way, only a way for you to send information to your customer, making sure that they can access it and then share it with their fans or their own friends. But it's also a massive pool of information in which you have like the biggest focus group. So it's an ideal place to uh, really measure things such as trends, sentiments, or influence um, metrics that are important for your brand. But then the challenge is to how to easily extract, access this information, and make it available uh, as quickly as possible. So this is why we have enriched our integration platform, BusinessWorks, with a set of social connectors. So natively, we provide Twitter and Facebook. And then, as in guise of examples, we use the REST and JSON plugin to connect to Foursquare, Flickr, or Instagram. Then, what's in, once it's on a bus, you can fit this information to your usual system of records, your applications, your data warehouses, or you can even uh, fit this information into your analytic solution, in that case, uh, Tipco Spotify. So this is exactly what I'm going to demonstrate, and I will use for this the recent plugin for Twitter that BusinessWorks proposes that allows you to uh, subscribe to Twitter, depending on some search terms, so in real time you'll get the tweets, it also allows you to abstract the Twitter API, graphic, graphically uh, extract data from uh, Twitter, and then send back data to uh, Twitter. So let's get started. I have a very simple business work project using the Twitter plugin, in which I have managed my connection in this all uh, resource. And I have then defined a very simple process in which I can search uh, Twitter uh, tweet uh, users uh, using the typical search uh, search term, and then create a file in which I generate the first row to name the columns in which I will store the information. And then, in for each of those users, I will gather their 50 uh, last tweets and get some metrics about those uh, those users. So once I've done this, I will just create a file. Uh, that will be put in that uh, Twitter directory. So let me just run it to show you it's very quickly done. That, that's in designer, that's very usual uh, business works uh, design, graphical design and experience. I'm getting all this data and then I can go here and I have my users.csv. I use the CSV file so that I can directly open it from our Spotify analytics solutions. What is interesting about Spotify is that it will uh, analyze the file, um, find the column names, and uh, directly allow me to build uh, some, uh, some visualizations based on this data. And when I'm done, I will be able to share this with my colleagues, as an example. So here's the contents, the data that I've extracted from Twitter. So you see all of those typical related uh, tweet people. And then I may define that, okay, these are integrators, this is uh, perfect, that's fine. I can just click and it will generate for me an initial visualization that I will easily, very easily change to uh, fit my needs. So I'm now configuring the documents. Scatter plot, maybe not the, the one I want, so I would switch this to a bar chart. And I will look at the number of followers. Yes, that's interesting, but I will look at it maybe by name. And then I see as an example, Tipco Software has most followers. Now, if I want to create, let's say, uh, a tree map, I can very easily do this. Uh, I will color by the number of, you know, I will, I will use the, the number of followers as an example. And then I will size by the number of retweets. And then in hierarchy, I will put the name so we can find immediately this information. So whenever I choose, 
I can see also I can I could use uh, tablet data and I have the usual filters to make sure I get to the right uh, level of uh, information the same way I could have a pie chart that would work exactly the same way so that's very to show you how easy it is to extract information from Twitter to refresh this I could have the same process exposed as a web services a rest service so right from an application I can manage my uh, Twitter uh, extraction uh, logic, integration logic, and the Twitter plugin also allows you to subscribe in real time to tweets of interest that you could also use. So this is uh, m most of this very short uh, administration. So wh what you can do next is then uh, go to uh, Tipco Access Point or Tip Community and download business works to give it a try and if you want to try uh, Spotfire you can go to server.spotfire.com and try by yourself this powerful uh, analytic solution thank you